Hi, I'm Tim Woody, a biologist with Carolina Biological Supply Company, and today we're going to take a look at some popular aquarium plants for your classroom. You will need suitable containers and water, used condition tap water or spring water. In most cases, you will need a lamp. Fluorescent and LED lamps work best because they don't give off a lot of heat. And let's begin with Limna Minor, commonly called duckweed. It is shipped in a sealed plastic bag wrapped in a paper towel. Duckweed is a small floating plant. Simply dump it in some water and spread it out. A tray works fine. Individual plants are tiny. Duckweed is used for population growth studies. Elodea is our most popular plant. It's used in studies for photosynthesis and to view cytoplasmic streaming. It arrives in a sealed plastic bag. Rinse the plants in running tap water and give them a visual inspection. Healthy plants are dark in color or bright green. They should be good, sturdy plants. Discard any that are mushy. Get them into water and under light. If you're not using them immediately, replace about one quarter of the water every third day. This will help to replace the minerals that are absorbed by the plants. For states that restrict shipment of Elodea densa, we ship a native Elodea, Elodea canadensis, or Cara, depending on which is available. For most uses, Canadian Elodea, or Cara, can be directly substituted for Elodea densa. Cabamba is also a popular aquarium plant. It takes the same care as Elodea, but fragments more easily. Elodea and Cabamba can be rooted into an aquarium. However, if the roots aren't weighted down, they can work themselves loose and the plants will float to the top. Ceratophyllum is a favorite for aquarium use. It looks great and it's a sturdy plant. For a rooted plant, Try Sagittaria. Anchor the plant in the substrate. Then, if necessary, pull up on it until the crown is exposed. They reproduce by runners. In three months, one plant may produce four, six, or even eight offspring. Thalassinera is similar, but has longer leaves. Ludwigia makes a nice contrast to Sagittaria. It is especially good if you are trying to create a natural pond habitat for your classroom. Be sure to give your plants plenty of light and do partial water changes each week to replace lost nutrients. And visit us at www.carolina.com for all your science needs.